What's the password? What's the password? Hey guys, we had this Pepsi car the other day and Coke got jealous. So, we brought in the Coke Brigade. This is the Coca-Cola series number one premiere from Matchbox. <laughs> you want to look at these babies? Oh, I know I do. Let's take a look. It's a toy car case event at Johnny Roman's Supper Club. Special edition, come with me! Spring has sprung and we are heading out to the garage sales, flea markets, and toy shows! Those are where the greatest treasures are found! You never know what you're gonna find! Somebody stop me! Oh, look at all these cool cars! From Coca-Cola and Matchbox. Now, let me tell you, this is a series number one, and this has been in a bin for forever. So, all you cats and kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's, Saul's overseas, Adam's in DC's, and K's with displays, and all the rest of you, I am digging these. <laughs> these are coming out from the archives. Now, my mom was a Coca-Cola drinker. And let me tell you, she loved a six-inch glass bottle, just like Saul. <laughs> Saul, I hope you're enjoying a nice, cool beverage <laughs> right now and just relaxing at home. Ah, <laughs> such great news, my friend. So, let me tell you, Coca-Cola, because of dear old Mama Roman... Uh, has always had a special place in my heart and every once in a while when I do drink a soda which isn't often I love to drink it out of a six inch bottle and it's like the perfect amount so this one is diecast series number 200 coca-cola from Thailand or as we like to say, Talando, baby! <laughs> oh, sorry, I haven't been around for a while. I'm looking for, there, 1997. So, I haven't been making as many videos as before, but <laughs> I'm still here with you guys, just to try to juggle life and everything that's important. So, this was a Matchbox series that I started collecting Back in the day, let me see if we got a date. Here we go, 1998. So it came out in 99. <clears throat> and let me tell you, this is a premiere collection and this is right about the time where they were kind of shifting from uh, kids to adult collectors. So everything was premium and high class and stuff like that. Crafted by the greatest name in diecast Matchbox. So this actually comes with a little box, but look at that. It's got bent corners. It's not a box. It's a something or other. Ages 8 and up. Manufactured by Matchbox. And this is right about when the new Volkswagen was coming out. So that was kind of cool to me. Because it was a new casting. Look at those wheels on there. Eagle Goodyears. They look like um, real riders on there. VW Concept. And on the back, it lists out limited edition collector vehicles. Coca-Cola Series number one. Isn't that cool? Model A Ford. VW Concept. Max CH600. 56 Ford Pickup. 70 El Camino and 97 Ford F100 F150 pickup right 40 Ford man <laughs> this is right up his alley so with these Volkswagens I because I was kind of obsessed with them at the time I actually picked up four of them so I've got four of these babies in the old Johnny collection so that is pretty cool someday i would love i was talking to miss k about this to set up 
an actual diner <laughs> served by uh, simple foods. I do like to cook. And then display all these cars for people to see. Wouldn't that be wild? Come to the real Johnny Roman Supper Club. Get a hot dog, a shake, or get a hot dog and a soft serve ice cream and a soda. <laughs> Maybe some french fries. So, again, here's the premiere. They got a T-Bird, which is funny, on the front here. But, the only T-Bird we have is this. And this is not part of the Matchbox series. This is kind of, this is Majorette. So, that is just really interesting to me that the image that they used is not actually one of the cars that they use. So this is a 70 El Camino. And again, look at those real riders. This is just a really sweet white roof in front. Oh, and again, the details on these, again, they are trying for the adult collector, which is all of us which is really really cool now again I think these backs are pretty much the same all the way through so you really have no uh, difference in them here's your premier club pretty wild check us out on the world wide web that was just coming into matchboxtoys.com 1998 is the date but that is a that's a nice piece we go from the El Camino to the 97 Ford F150 and again all these have a little box now they do have that tapered edge and it looks like this Ford they not even fit in the box. Oh, maybe. There's a little room on the back side. But again, the graphics, all Coca-Cola. Got a little rubber band or something holding that in place. Or the rubber band mechanism snapped and it's kind of... So are these all held down by a rubber band? Oh, that's it. Look. See, there's a rubber band holding this in place here. And it goes up and over the tires so that that piece doesn't rattle around. And this one snapped in there. See that? Kind of wild. But look at this. So cool to have a box. This one has an open bed. And this one doesn't have the white roof or white uh, hood or bonnet I I don't know why again yeah, it's, it's just a whim now the next one is this uh, 56 Ford pickup give a little glare and this one only has a white roof not a white front or hood but look at those wheels on there and the details on these again even the little running lights and and turn signals are colored in but these are really sweet pieces that you don't see too often coke 98 and again this is the the uh, series number one now i never saw a series number two but there might be and i could have seen it and totally forgotten <laughs> so Here's your Premier Collection logo and Coca-Cola brand. And then all the cars again. And again, this back side is just exactly like the others. Are you saying to your parents, I'm bored, I got nothing to do? If you're bored, have nothing to do. Be it summer, spring, fall, or winter. Well, let me tell you, there's more than just riding your skateboard. Everyone is bored to death. Look at all these people. Another place to go is 
Johnny Roman Supper Club, where the excitement is fantastic. Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event. Oh, there's races and cars of all eras. Oh, visit the toy car case on YouTube. Become a subscriber so you don't miss out. Be a cool kid on the block. Tell all your friends. So don't let your days be boring and wasted away. Come to the supper club and play. Everyone is crowded and heading towards the supper club. Join us. Subscribe now. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be. Because life starts after 316. Look at this one. This one was always my favorite, a Model A Ford. I do love Model A's. I was talking to someone the other day about cars. The co-worker, actually. Co-worker comes over Tuesday nights for an old family dinner. Him and one other friend of ours. Oh, look at that extended nose on that. That, that bumper is out like 500 feet on that. This nose should be a little bit longer, I think. Oh, but it looks pretty sweet. So anyways, the co-worker and I were talking about cars we owned, and he said he's owned 30 cars in his in his uh, lifetime, and, and literally he's just a little bit younger than me. Okay, he's a lot bit younger than me, but that's okay. And um, I was thinking I had... A 28, a 31, no 40, no 50. I had a 69, I had a 74. I think we had an 80, yeah, I had an 89, 81 car. We had a bunch of 90s cars. And then I've got a 2006 now. So the only uh, era or decade that I didn't have a car was from old 1900 to 1910 1940s 1950s and 2010s <laughs> I got a better get by it right so I could fill out that kind of dream Adam, someday I will try and get uh, pictures of all the cars I've owned into a video. I have some old snapshots and stuff like that, and um, so it'll be uh, it'll be kind of a, a, a treasure hunt to try and see if I can find images of them all and even remember them all. So here's our Coca-Cola Model A. Again, I love the details, even just putting a the gray around the the silver around the windows just really cool I want look at that just again that's that's one of my favorite and then big Charlie look at this my friend we got a big semi trailer Charlie's a trucker and I was telling him the other day <laughs> right back and forth next time he comes through this area we're gonna try and meet up but look at the details on this Mac got a sleeper cab on it now this one again has a white bonnet hood and up onto the sleeper but very cool but I was telling him I could never be a truck driver because I'd literally be pulling my big rig into every garage sale <laughs> sign I saw and just checking out garage sales I'd never get any work done so look at this thing now this would be really cool if they had a cab on it or a, a, a trailer that would be sweet but look at the details I wonder if there's actually beds and stuff in that sleeper wouldn't that be cool so you could see them through the windows for those that are looking really close this is a Mac CH 600 so what do you think of these are you a coca-cola drinker dr. pepper Ah, uh, Pepsi? No Coke, Pepsi. <laughs> She's snaily. You drive me crazy. So funny. 
So anyways, these are all our cars, which are very cool. We are not opening these because they've lasted 20 years so far. So I'm going to just pull these to the side and kind of show you some other stuff that I was working on. Isn't this exciting? Oh, I know, I know. So look at this, my friends, look at this. So I've got all my Coke stuff all over here, nice and piled up. But look what old Johnny did. We cleaned up these babies. We got all the dirt and grime off them. So, do you remember the hairy front seats of this car? <laughs> Look at it now. What a difference. Now, I realized as I was cleaning, it is missing a hood ornament and one of the rear view mirrors and this bumper. And again, I'm thinking the hood ornaments that might be able to be taken off a car or fabricated. But look at this car all cleaned up. That's why I'm always telling people that, man, how do you display your cars? Because when I first started collecting, oh, I missed a spot on the seat. See that? Little dusty, dusty, musty. And there's a little piece of DNA in there, but I'll, I can get that off but when I first started collecting I just put these things out on the shelf and then they you know after a year or two they get some dust on it and it's like how do you keep them all clean and that's why I uh, started searching for <coughs> display cabinets that are enclosed and with those <coughs> my first one was the top of a china hutch where the people were just getting rid of the china hutch part the top part that sits on the credenza and let me tell you closed doors nice shells it worked out great here's another one that we cleaned up and it's a tan seat in there I'm like oh no did I miss another spot but look how nice these look just taking the dust off them Maybe I'll put in, uh, superimpose in uh, the old videos of them dusty in front of these. Do a little extra editing on these. But again, rumble seats. Both my Model A's had rumble seats and it was so much fun. My favorite story is when we're driving along, Big Mom and I, in the 31 Roadster top down. And this old guy, I mean, he's he's like this tall, old, and he's all bent over, walking with a cane. And he heard the engine. And just the noise of the Model A engine, he straightened up. And he took a look, he smiled and waved as we drove by. And I'm like, finding the first place I could do a loop around. And I, I turned around and came back and did another loop and came up on him. And he's like, hi, I love your car. I'm like, you want to ride? He's like, yeah. And he had to been 85-ish, maybe even 90. But he's out walking in the neighborhood by himself. And let me tell you, I just, because on the, on the Roadster, you could just you could just reach back. Like, if, if, if this top was down, they're so small, you just reach back and you... You, I flipped open the, the rumble seat. Now on my car, you had, you'd had you step here and there would be a plate right here and then get in. You'd step on the seat and get in. So I'm like, do you want to ride? And I literally turned around and flipped the seat open right away. His eyes got huge. He said, yeah, he tucked that cane under his arm and he jumped up on this car like he was nine years old again in his daddy's car. And he jumped up and got right in and off we took and we drove him around for about 45 minutes and listened to stories of him when he uh, when he uh, was in Chicago living in Chicago and some really interesting stories of him and some cars and things like that so that was cool if you got old cars like that give people rides I mean please <laughs> It's all going to rot away someday and, and, or, you know, you never know when you're, 
it's your ticket you know your tickets being cashed in so enjoy the cars drive them around give people rides let them live relive their memories now these were those little stage coaches and I'm, <clears throat> I wish I knew to look more for um, the rest of this set but from what I saw I didn't really see too many more trains and I'm telling you these people were getting rid of stuff they were talking about just trash and a bunch of stuff and it's like ah oh, it just breaks my heart so if you can see right here there's a little hole and this peg goes in that hole and they could drag it along the railroad track so I cleaned those babies up and then remember this hairy beast look at that it's all cleaned up still a little dust on it <laughs> dust just from a day supper club is usually not very dusty <laughs> but look at that all cleaned up and it was hard to get I used a q-tip to get down in these cracks and try and get those and I'm sure I miss spots but it's a lot cleaner than it was and oh this looks really nice turning front wheels and this one was pretty clean I thought but then I, I just cleaned off this deck and oh my gosh it was dirt black so anyways there you have it you got all cleaned up cars it's okay if you find cars that are dirty and messed up because a little elbow grease super fan B always tells me to clean my cars so this time I did so if you go on Instagram and check out some of the pictures you will see some of the cars coming up I all these cars came out of a bin that has been stored away for at least 15 years I'm guessing so maybe 18 years so you're gonna see some vintage stuff coming up so that's cool so anyways thank you all for coming in to a toy car case event at Johnny Roman Supper Club and let me tell you some cool things coming up and we will see you on the flip-flop on the orange black tie baby <laughs> rock on <laughs> rock on my friends I know you're a toy car case guy out there it is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.